Hi guys, welcome back to Coding with Hola. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an effective README file. A README file is what your project is about. On GitHub, when people land on your repo, your README file should be the first thing that they see on your repo because it will contain the information that your project is about. It will tell people exactly what you've done, who, who participated in the project, and why you've done it okay so it's going to contain things like images you know a title you know sub headings and bullet points and so on and so forth so i'm going to show you how to attach an image to your readme file how to give it a title how to give it how to how to add numbered list and bullet points as well into your readme file so the first thing i'm going to show you now is how to create a title for your readme okay the f the the title normally starts with an ash like this one ash because you, you have to understand that the readme file is 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 a markdown file okay so we use the ash to give it a title so i'm going to give it this a title let's just say test page or something like this and then beneath that you can give it a paragraph and to write a paragraph is just as simple as just writing a text like this. Let's just say a paragraph about my readme file. Something as simple as this. And then beneath that, you you want to give it a subtitle as well. Now, because when dealing with titles in 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 Markdown, you you can only use one hash for the heading right here. Okay, and whatever heading that is below that has to be with has to, has to be sub heading so it has to be two ashes, two hashtags like this. So using two hashtags is to basically create a smaller heading. Think of it as h1, h2, you know, in terms of HTML, but in Markdown you use one ash and two ashes like this. So now you can give it a sub heading by saying something like um, my sub heading. Obviously, in your project, make sure you make sure your headings are more meaningful than this. I'm just you know this is just a test for me. I'm just showing you how to do it. So then you can also write a paragraph here underneath this. You can you know write any paragraph that you want, something like this. And then most importantly, in your readme file, if you want to attach an image, maybe an image of what you're working on, maybe you're, you're, you're dealing with um, mock-up images of your website or mobile app that you're building or something, you might want to attach that in your readme file as well. So obviously when you want to attach an image, you obviously, if you have an image folder in your code, like this, you want to drag that image. You want to click and drag that image. And before you drop it into your readme file, you want to click on shift. Okay, that will give you the space and the position to put your readme file because if you let go of the shift, you see, you mess it up. But make sure you once you grab that image, you Click on shift at the same time and just drop it where you want, which is below the text. And most importantly, after dragging and dropping your images, you want to delete this alt text and give your image in a meaningful alt text because this part is very important. This will actually allow your image to show up on your repo because if you leave that, if you don't, let me undo that for a little bit. If you don't change this, it's your image will not show up on your repo, okay? So don't make that mistake. So you have to delete this text, right? And just give it the appropriate alt text for what you for your for, for what the image is about. So for example, I'm going to name this um, let's just say ecom website, something like that, okay? And that is how you attach an image in your readme file. And also, if you want to attach, let's just say you want to let me let me create another sub heading like this. Let me just get another sub heading. And then if I want to attach, if I want to add a bullet point, right? You use the asterisk. Okay, you use the asterisk to add a bullet point. 
and then you just write the paragraph like you would normally do paragraph and this will be a bullet point if you want to add another bullet point you use the asterisk asterisk again and you just the second bullet point right and if you want to add a numbered list it's just as simple as writing a number with a with a point like one and points and just just write your 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 number just write whatever you want to write in front of it same as just number two and just write whatever you want to write in front of it and now if i click on here to see the readme file in my vs code as you can see we now have a title a subtitle with the paragraphs obviously and an image that we attached and obviously another sub heading and these bullet points and these numbered list as well when you have a real project that you're working on and you actually add meaningful titles meaningful images and everything this is going to make your readme file look neater and well structured okay this this is the part that people when they land on your repo they will be very impressed about your project they will be interested in in in, in viewing your code after saying that your readme file is very detailed and very structured so don't neglect your readme file put in the effort in attaching everything about the project inside your readme file okay I hope you've learned something in this video and if you have make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching